Hello and welcome back to another episode of DCS in 10 minutes or less with the Mirage 2000. This is episode 10, which will be a two-part episode going over fuel systems and air-to-air -air refueling. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into it. The Mirage 2000's fuel system is divided between the left and right group. Each group consists of a wing and fuselage tank. Additionally, a center tank is located right behind the cockpit that transfers fuel to the fuselage tank. We can equip up to three external tanks as well. A centerline tank, which adds 990 kilograms, or 2,183 pounds of fuel, two wing tanks, which adds 1,580 kilograms, or 3,482 pounds of each. We have a refueling probe that allows us to air-to-air -air refuel so we can stay in the air even longer. Some fuel levels. Max internal fuel will be 3,160 kilograms of fuel, or 6,966 pounds, with a centerline tank will be 4,150 kilograms, or 9,147 pounds. With two wing tanks will be 6,320 kilograms or 13,930 pounds of fuel. With all three tanks will be 7,310 kilograms or 16,111 pounds of fuel. All right, now we're gonna look at our fuel control panel, which is located down here by our right knee. All right, starting from the very top, right here is gonna be the refuel transfer light. When that lights up, that's indicating that the aircraft is receiving fuel either from a tanker or from the ground crew. Right here is going to be your internal fuel remaining gauge. And then to the right of that is going to be the total fuel available to the aircraft according to the pilot. So for the example we're going to use, so we're going to have three external fuel tanks on board. We know that's going to be 7,000 plus kilograms of fuel. As a pilot, you can use a detox switch to make that adjustment to uh, match the fuel levels that are supposed to have, so 7,000 plus. Obviously, as we uh, fly along, we're going to burn fuel and it's going to count down. And and then when the right window is level with the left window, so 30 and 40, uh, that means the fuel tanks are empty and that we're on internal fuel. A special note though, the external tanks, they do not have a fuel level sensor. The fuel, <coughs> the fuel detot is set by the pilot using the detot switch. If set incorrectly, you have an inaccurate display of true fuel levels. So again, back to the example of having three fuel tanks on. Uh, so we know 7,000 plus pound or 7,000 kilograms of fuel. Say you leave it on internal fuel level, so 30-40, it's going to be an dis uh, inaccurate display of fuel. And your plane does not know that, so it doesn't think it has fuel tanks on board. Alright, so right here in the middle is going to be your detox switch. This is going to be sending the fuel quantity. Then right here in the middle, let me actually try to turn those lights on. Oh, just had it. Trying to do without on pause and jack fire. All right, so the smell gauge, how it works. When these light up, that's indicating that the fuel tanks are empty. So the top row is going to be your external fuel tank. So your external left wing tank, your external center tank, and your external right tank. So when those tanks are empty, that's going to, this will light up. Then FR is going to be your forward uh, fuselage tanks. And then W will be your wing tanks. Uh, I think for the French cockpit, it's going to be RV or RL actually. So RL, AV, and then V. Unpause that. All right, so right here, uh, we're not going to go over it really, but what it is, this is your test fuel uh, circuits and your fuel control panel. Uh, it's not functional, so that's why we're not really going over it. Then right here on both sides, it's going to be your fuel level. Uh, indicators. So the top mark is indicating max capacity of fuel tanks. The middle mark is indicating 450, kilo, 450 kilograms in each tank. And then the bottom mark, the red mark, is indicating 250 kilograms in each uh, feeder tank. And it's also going to trigger a caution light. Then down here is going to be your crossfeed switch. Uh, when you're super low of fuel, you can have a warning on your warning panel that says crossfeed. It says it's not functional, but I used it and I didn't have any issues, so. Maybe it works, maybe it's not functional. But yeah, that's the fuel control panel. All right, right here's gonna be your fuel flow indicator. All this does is displays the engine's fuel consumption in kilograms per minute. Obviously at different altitudes and different speeds and different throttle input, you're gonna have different displays. Right below that's gonna be your bingo or joker selector. This is gonna be used to set the fuel quantity at which the bingo alarm goes off. Bingo or joker is used to indicate the minimum amount of fuel required for safe return to base. By default, it's at the 2800 in the Mirage, but everyone flips to the 1200, even the, uh, the air starts, starts at 1200. Uh, the Mirage is actually fuel efficient, so if you have an 800 uh, bingo, for example, you can pretty much fly from south coast up to the north coast on caucus. Alright, then down here, 
We have our fuel dump switch. This is for external fuel dumping only. The Mirage does not do internal fuel dump. So all you're going to do is click on it and push on it. And then you're going to start fuel dumping. So again, the Mirage can only do a fuel dump from external tanks. Once it starts, you can ask out the process. The center tank, if it's full, takes roughly two and a half minutes of fuel dump. The wing tanks are full, take roughly four minutes of fuel dump. All right, up the wall we go. All right, right here's going to be your in-flight refueling switch. So bottom means it's off. So even if you connect to a basket on a tanker, if it's off, you're not going to get fuel. Once you flip the day, you're going to start uh, getting fuel because you open up the transfer hose. Even at night, that works. Just at night, when you flip it up, all you're going to do is get an external lighting. So right there by the probe itself, and then by the intake, are external lightings for the night switch as you see it folding back in. Alright, so now we're going to do the fuel detox. We're going to go to parent menu, ground crew, rearm, refuel. Uh, yeah. There's that. There. Refueling. See the lights up, it's just 1% fuel. Request rearming. Copy. <laughs> I don't know if it will, 1% is not that much. Oh yeah, well, <laughs> sick. Alright, fast forward till we get the tank on. Alright, now we have a tank. So, see if you get the math, that's fine. Don't worry about it. All I have to do is go to the knee board. Right here. So, you got 4,144 kilograms on board. You're going to come to your fuel detail. If you left click it, you're going to go down, so minus. If you right click, you can go up, so plus. What is again? 4144? And right there is good. Alright, guys, so that covers this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.